In this clip, we're going to be working on some color correction. So most of our shot is, you know, really as it should be. This robot was designed and lit with the intention of being put into the shot, but the dog was not, and he still looks a little odd. So I want to go in and start to play around with what's coming out of our scan line render for that dog. So I'm just going to come in right after that pre-mold and start working from there. So we'll kind of pull this over here. Now we've got a little bit of room. So I'll add my first color correct. And for this one, what I'm wanting to do is just kind of take the darkness of the dog down. And this is going to kind of take him and just make him feel like his brightness isn't being overdone like it was before. And then I'll go back in over here. Let's see which one this is. This is the one where we kind of have him gained down a bit. Actually, we want to do the one where it's going into the mask because I still want him to be a little more bright in those areas there. So we can continue to gain this up. Let's try a little bit brighter here. So now he's getting that really nice hard light on the front the same way that the robot is getting it on the edge where it's almost completely white. And the girl is getting that as well. Now you'll notice that on the girl's uh, lighting, it's a little more golden. Um, so we probably should change that temperature a little bit for our little dog. So I'm just going to come in here and We'll add another color correct and just kind of overall give it a little bit more of that yellow feel. So you see if I push it up, we go blue. Down, we go more yellow. So I just want to go a little bit in the yellow direction, not too much. Great. So that's really helping to color correct uh, the dog to feel like he really goes in this shot. Now grading we may do a little bit of later on which is sort of another type of color correction. A lot of times you'll grade two shots to go together and we're really only working with this one shot. But you can also do what's called a creative grade which we'll be adding on a little bit later once we get a few other things in place. Now something that I think we should probably consider adding is going to be a little bit of motion blur. So let's go ahead and talk about that in our next clip.